Hey guys, this is Vicki. I wanted to share with you um, some projects that I've been making. I made these a while back, but I haven't done a video and I'm in the process. I thought I would get it done, do the video now while I'm at home by myself and my husband's still at work. I don't really like taping in front of him while I'm upstairs and he's in the other room. So, um, and maybe it's just me, I'm a little embarrassed, but uh, let me show you what I've been working on. Since it's getting to be fall and it's like this week or next week, I thought I would make these cute scarecrows. Let me show you. Now, this is not my idea. I got it off YouTube from another lady. Uh, this here is a cute little block. It's a block that has lights in it, as you can see at the bottom. And what I did was I wrapped some burlap around it. I used some hot glue. Then I painted the eyes and his little face and his little mouth. And I got to put something right here for him and uh, for his bow. And then I used raffia for his hair and his little hel helmet. His little straw hat or her little straw hat is um, from Hobby Lobby. I think it was the small one that I got. It's like $1.99. And these are some flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby and uh, just kind of stuck them in the hat, as you can see, and that you plug them up and he lights up. So this is the first one that I did. And the ribbon I got at Hobby Lobby as well. Everything that is on this uh, block is hot glued. And the lady that I saw the video, she put the lights on at the top. I thought for me, I thought, well, what if the lights go out and you need to replace them? So I decided to use the bottom and stick them underneath there. But here's the first one that I made. I want to take them to work and see if anybody's willing to purchase them. I figure $20 is not bad for the cost. And here is another one. How cute is that? And again, um, I wrapped the burlap around the glass block, hot glued it in the back, as you can see. Then I hot glued the, um, the ribbon to the block. And while this was on the glass, I ended up painting, I did like a template and I used that for his eyes and his face to make that. And some of these, um, I think I put eyelashes on a couple of them, like drew eyelashes. <laughs> I think I have to look like there's a couple more that I did. But these are again, flowers from Hobby Lobby. And I just, you know, cut them apart, the picks and just stuck them in there and glued everything down. And these are white lights. And these blocks are the six by six blocks that I used and his hat and his his hair or her hair the straw hair are all glued down if you're going to do this please be careful and not burn your fingers because i burnt my fingers a couple of times trying to do his hair or her hair but i think they came out cute and like i said i tried to get the ribbon and stuff on sale i was so excited to make these they're fun to make let me go get the other ones for you Okay, here are the other ones that I made. I think I made a total of uh, six. Just wanted to try them out and see how everybody would like them. And they basically pretty much look the same, except, you know, maybe different color ribbon. And I put a little raffia right here. I was trying to get creative with them. And again, I used the templates to make the face, give it a different look from the other ones. Uh, the straw hat I got again from Hobby Lobby and the picks and all this came from Hobby Lobby and this flower right here was missing a center so I added a little bead and a flower right there to give it a little character I might have to glue this down a little bit more and you know and again the lights are at the bottom so there's that one and here's another one. This one here, I think I made his mouth come down too low because you can't really see, but 
And I thought about adding uh, a little bit of chalk right here to make them have rosy cheeks. So I don't know, I still might do that. And I have to glue this one because it's like it's coming off or it got stuck. But um, yeah, I thought that was cute. And they said the flowers and everything, Hobby Lobby, you can get them anywhere. And just kind of finagle them. This is some um, flowers that I had in, in my stash. And these are from Recollections, Michael's Recollections Collection. And I had this from um, a flower, a pick that I had and I just tore it apart and just tried to add stuff to it. I think these ones are cute right here. These are, that have the little daisies on them and they kind of bounce. <laughs> so um, this one here, I made the bows a little different. I mean, not different, the, I used a different ribbon and his face is still the same and again here's some of the floral stuff that i added to it and his hair and this is the one that i did the first time in his i put the lights on at the top so i guess if they need to i kind of left this one loose if they can go underneath there and pull that out and then you know lay it back down to replace it if they had to hopefully they won't go out because you're not really using it like every day it's just going to be a seasonal type thing so i got that this one's cute and i like how these ones these little uh little glass beads or whatever you want to call them this kind of gives it the right look and the shimmer of the leaves in the in the uh sunflowers so i got that and then the last one yeah this is the one that I put eyelashes kind of on or to make it look like his eyes were sewn on him or her but this is another one and again the block is not big enough and I was trying to find thinner uh, ribbon to use so it wouldn't cover up his his lower his mouth but and I should have probably got these higher but I figured it out as I went along so but these are again, the flowers that I used on them. I thought they came out cute. Hopefully these will be a hit and I can get these sold. So, but that's all that I have. These are my cute little uh, scarecrow, men, women, whatever they are, kids. But uh, I hope they like them. And I wanna thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel and have a good evening and bye for now there's another uh there was something else i wanted to show you guys that i made i bought these um trays from michael's this one and i bought a a copper one and i used my cricut last night and i made a template because i wanted to put a saying right here on these and I'm going to show you the one that I use the one that's the copper or the brown or whichever color you want to call it but um, I use my Cricut Air and I ended up trying to put something that says like for fall that says grateful or blessed or whatever and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on this one maybe another welcome sign or whatever so but this is what I came up with I cut some um, like a template out so I would know what I'm how much room I had and I measured and um, again I thought I had enough room but when you add this and this to there it makes it kind of tight maybe that would fit on there but it makes it kind of bunched up and I didn't know if I liked it like that so I went ahead and um, used looked at that one and so I just cut different sizes to go in there and when I saw it like that, I thought that looks perfect because it's just enough room and doesn't look all crowded. Now let me show you the one that I did. This is the one that I ended up using and how it came out. This is my welcome tray. And I figured that you could use that in your home and put your keys in or set it up like on a um, stand or hang it up maybe and use that. 
and I used used the Cricut vinyl. It's like a gold. I thought it came really it came out really nice. It really complements this. And um, yeah, I like how it came out. Like I said, I I didn't want to waste my vinyl because I and that is why I cut out a template. And I was originally going to go with um, Welcome Autumn, but it was a little too big, so I ended up just using the word welcome. I could have made it smaller, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be really pretty and just so you can see it and see how it, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks kind of like it's um, woodsy-like, like it's got uh, grain in it and it it's really nice. I like it. So um, I'm going to take that to work with me tomorrow and see if anybody wants to buy that. And I figured $10 wouldn't be too bad for that. And I, I liked this, and I thought this would be nice since everything's uh, for, since people are decorating with wood, um, like maybe put welcome fall or thankful or something like that on there. And I'm not sure which color I'm going to use, but um, maybe a, like a dark brown or a cream. I don't know. Maybe even a gray or black. I don't know. But... Uh, if this one's a hit and people like it, I might go downstairs where I work at. There's a Michael's downstairs and purchase a couple of more of these and get some more um, gold vinyl, which I may do anyway because we can never have enough vinyl and we're always using something for projects or something. So, But um, that's it. That's all that I have. I'm sorry if I rambled on and jumbled on. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to my channel and have a good night. Bye for now. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Bye for now.